my name is QQ. I'm competing in U93 Junior Category. What got you started in powerlifting? Uh, what got me started was a bunch of friends. They started going to the gym, and then I had nothing to do at home, so I joined them. So, and after that, I just got like very into strength sports. Okay, so how do you manage both? Uh, like, how do you juggle both work and powerlifting? Uh, currently, I'm I'm serving the nation as an NSF. Um, it's quite difficult to juggle both at the same time because I have NS duty in the morning and then after that I need to rush to training and I'll be home at about 11, 12 plus. Hi QQ, what are you doing? I'm adjusting my belt because... Why are you adjusting your belt? I'm back at the size I am 3 years ago, bitch! Wow, look at that man. I lost weight. He won't have any stomach in time to come. This is all rock hard abs. <laughs> so how often do you train? Uh, I train four times a week, sometimes five. Each, each session will last me about uh, three to four hours. So for this SPO, right? Mm. Like, how do you like describe how you feel? Um, actually, I'm pretty excited for SPO because um, my training has been going pretty good, and uh, I'm excited to see uh, some PRs on the stage. So if you could give any advice to any powerlifters, right? What would it be? Uh, my advice to all powerlifters is uh, be beginner or intermediate. Mm, just keep your head low and just keep grinding hard and you will just perform well in the future. Hi, uh, my name is Saida, so I compete in the Lady 3 kilo weight class. So what got you started in powerlifting? Well, I was, I was in the gym a lot, like, about close to 10 years ago, so... I think I was training a lot of a lot of bodybuilding movements, a lot of bodybuilding uh, kind of workouts. But eventually, I got bored of bodybuilding style workouts, and I thought that I want to try a strength program. So I did a strength program, uh, Gym Wendlers 531 for a year, and then after a year, I thought, okay, why not just give it a shot and take part in a powerlifting competition and see where it's there. So, um, how do you juggle both work and powerlifting? <laughs> um, time management. And I think there are days where I get very, very long work hours uh, in, in my industry. So I work in advertising, so my hours can get very long. Um, certain days I can work like up to 12 hours, so I still train after that. I think it depends on how bad you want it, how you manage your time, and you try to you try to make things work, readjust certain things, uh, adjust your training a little bit, you gotta adjust your sleep. Some days you deal with a bit less sleep, but you try to recover a bit better the next day, so I think it's all time management and a lot of planning ahead. So, um, describe how you feel for the upcoming competition. I'm excited, very very excited. Uh, it's the first time I'm competing in an 83 kilo weight class. I used to be a 93 kilo lifter, so I've been semi-dieting since October last year, so it's been about six months. Body weight is down, but everything else still feeling good, so I'm excited, I'm stoked for this competition. If you could give um, any advice to any powerlifters, right, uh, of any level, what would it be? I think it could, it could be something I used to tell myself. Uh, I used to look at other lifters, and I used to look at them and like, man, this guy is strong, uh, he's strong in his bench, he's strong in his squats, but the thing is, the, the more I think about it, the more I fixate myself on someone's lifts, it makes me feel uh, less good about my own lifts. So eventually I realised that if I do the best I can, I just focus on myself and eventually you start slowly chipping away year by year. Because you know, it's not, it's not a short term sport. It's going, to take, uh, it's going to take time. It's going to take like years and years and years to build upon that foundation. So I think focusing on yourself, be consistent and basically doing like whatever you have to do, uh, making time, planning ahead and you know, you have work, you gotta sleep less, whatever, just do it. Sometimes you're gonna make some sacrifices to, to achieve what you set out to do. My name is Fahana Farid. I am competing in the Women's Open Under 52. Uh, what got you started in powerlifting? Um, well, the thing is I started off as a runner. Uh, I was obsessed with running, so I ran a lot, but after a while I felt I was very um, underdeveloped. Like I had very developed lower half of my body, but my upper body was skinny, so I had yeah, very developed legs, very skinny body, and uh, yeah, I just felt very imbalanced. So I felt like lifting would fill in the gaps for me, and then James came into the picture, and he was 
so he was a gym rat, so I was like a girlfriend yeah, of, of a gym rat, so I would wait for him at the gym and everything. And after a while, I kind of got started with it, started playing around with the bus and the weights, and then I just fell in love with it. So, um, how do you manage both the work and powerlifting? It's, it's, it's not that hard actually, because I mean, work is like office hours, and then after work, I would just go to the gym, which is, which is about 15 minutes away from work, so it's not that tiring. And then gym is halfway through work and home, and ironically, I don't actually get that tired from the gym. I actually look forward to the gym even after long day at work. So you're competing in the upcoming FPO 18. Um, describe how you feel. Uh, a bit in denial because it's finally manifesting. Like all these years of training, finally put, making it concrete and tangible. Um, sometimes I wake up like, oh, it's very surreal. I'm actually doing it. But I think the nerves will kick in like maybe just the day before. So surreal. Excited, a bunch of nerves. I, I, I get tingles just thinking about it. But for the most part, um, there's that hunger and that desire to like fix some things. So, um, if you would give uh, advice to any powerlifters of um, any level, um, what would it be? Always listen to your body um, and give it enough respect and a respect to back. Like, be it in terms of proper training, nutrition, and rest, and. Always, always go by feel. I mean, in the beginning, I was stubborn. I don't know, you call it perseverance and determined. Like, I, I wanted to hit numbers. I was hungry for that. But then, as you grow older, you realize that you really need to listen to your bodies and what works for one person might not work for you. So ultimately, really find your groove and just listen to your body and be attentive to what you feel. Yeah. See you, let's go!